You're watching Telecom TV from the TIP Summit 2019 in Amsterdam. And joining me now is George Chaparian, CEO of Edgecore. George, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. How is Edgecore involved in open disaggregated networks? Uh, Edgecore is a, you know, a switching company and our involvement has been in open disaggregated networking from the beginning. We were the one embracing it, especially when Facebook moved from uh, servers opening the switching. We were right at the right time, at the right place with OCP. We embraced that. We were the first, one of the first to put together the first open disaggregated box and also contribute to OCP. And then that evolution happened. We were able to uh, very fast way accelerate first and fast time to market all the products from 1G to 400G switching and contribute to OCP. We were the largest contributor to OCP from uh, OCP accepted switching products today. And now you're heavily involved with TIP. What you're showcasing at this year's TIP Summit is really central to TIP's goals. Absolutely. What happened is that what we learned from OCP, we quickly realized that this has to go into the telecom and also in the managed services area. So from learning that we have done in the data center, cloud service providers, we quickly started to have a roadmap and technology roadmap into the telco system, telco, telco market and telco industry. Hence, we started with virtual OLT, which is the access into the data center points. We started that, we brought that to market, we were the first to do that. Then we did the edge uh, switching with uh, you know, big TCAMs and MACSAC, etc. Then we also followed very quickly the disaggregated sales side gateway. Now in the showcase here at the TIP Summit, we are showing the three SKUs for our disaggregated you know, uh, sales side gateway. We didn't stop there. We did the Cassini box, which is also a coherent optical transponder for optical networking, including in one box, IP protocol, IP centric and plus coherent optics for data center, data center interconnect. However, we made it modular so that all the optical networking companies really take that S-curve of revolution of optical technology and provide that central box into a lot of innovation. And we're move, pushing that into the 5G environment, the whole spectrum of 5G, and we have products of each phase for 5G upgrade all the way to core aggregation and core networking. So we learned from OCP moving into the TIP, and we are contributing to TIP, and we believe TIP is the glue for bringing all these products together to accelerate and push telecom you know, operators adopt desegregated networking. And how important to you is the OCP marketplace and the newly announced TIP exchange? Both are important because both, both, are, both are depositories of the showcases of the how really things are coming together and work. Not just POC, not just trials, but these are, these are ways to show that all these are proven and working. So example, if you go to a TIP exchange, you can go into certain use cases and you can see who is really being you know, participating, whose products are being coming together, how they have come together, how they are being tested and gone beyond the POC to be start implementing it, where you take that infrastructure and you start adding, adding as a modular way your own, let's say, innovation on top of it. Similarly with, uh, with OCP. So this expanded ecosystem gives CSPs and telcos a lot more choice, but can they successfully manage the integration of these new products and solutions? Yes, I think, the, I think if you look at the evolution from the conception of TIP to this date, uh, we have seen how this has been accelerated. Of course, everybody wants to make this faster. However, last year, the same venue here, I was on the stage with you know, a couple of you know, my partners from a software point of view to put it together. And this year, we were both on the stage again, not just talking about it, but we have the solution working for within a year in terms of, again, it's an it's a infrastructure that needs to be built up on top of it all the way to the orchestration layer, all the way to how, how it comes together and being managed. But to your point, now we've seen a lot of partners come in. 
Now we have one, let's say, this, this you know, our desegregated sales side gateway has at least seven, eight partners contributing from network operating system, from application, and coming together. The last phase of it is the system integrators, when they come in solution ways, take what we have and put it together in an orchestration layer all the way how, how it is being managed. But the, but the most important thing is how the operators will adopt and how operators will take this now. And let's say, assuming that we have that infrastructure which is agnostic, come in with their verticals and add their intellectual property, their own way of managing, let's say, the end customer, how they would like to account control, how they would like to make sure that they innovate faster and further while, we give, while we're giving them the infrastructure underneath. And of course, this demonstrates the benefits of adopting a collaborative approach. It's all about the ecosystem, and this is why I believe, we believe in this open disaggregated networking. That's why HCore Networks has been very active in it, in all fronts. We also have another partner, a sister partner called ONF, Open Network Foundation, Linux Foundation, OCP, TIP. We all come together. As an example, with our desegregated sales side gateway, we use four uh, you know, open communities to bring it together. Likewise, Cassini. Everybody has a piece that they are good at. And then this is how we, as in, I won't call my, ourselves integrator, but the hardware infrastructure provider and enabling software on top of it. This is HCore's you know, value or core competency. We are becoming also like a catalyst to bring all these communities together. TIP is becoming the glue with operators and OCP is becoming the glue, let's say, with the, uh, you know, in the, in the I would say, uh, cloud service providers, data center, TIPs into the telco environment, managed services, but others coming together, now we have the enterprises too. So all these will come into, hopefully, into the enterprise market segment as well. George, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.